subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about a massive removal from SmackDown, a major, a major replacement and a major removal all at the same time. Also, we got breaking news as it concerns Royal Rumble, WWE in general, backstage, a lot of backstage developments, a lot of things going on that we didn't expect, that we didn't see coming. But I think a lot of you are going to be happy and glad and happy about this and satisfied at the end of the day. Viewers, fans, and subscribers, I want you to all please check out my Raw review from last night. You demanded it. You wanted it. I got it for you. Go check out my Raw review right now, please, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Also, The Rock is disappointed, guys. The Rock is disappointed in the TKO WWE partnership, uh, according to a rumor online right now. And this is huge in major. Also, is Hulk Hogan going to make his return in the Royal Rumble? He teased it. He talked about it. He said it last night. Does he have one more last Royal Rumble uh, entry in him? Does the Immortal Hulk Hogan again, guys? Please go check out my Raw review from last night. Check, and make sure to donate and become a channel member today. Also, Gunther suffers a very embarrassing botch on the 122 WWE Raw. The Intercontinental Champion said that he was going to beat Seth Rollins and he's going to defeat him, and he's going to win the Royal Rumble on Sunday. As we all know, the Royal Rumble is actually Saturday. Now, I, I can see where Gunther would say this because WWE pay-per-views a lot of the times in the day, back in the day, used to be on a Sunday. And yes, here on the morning edition, on the morning installment of Show and Vey, I urge you to get your crumpets, your coffee, your sausage, your eggs, your pancakes, your cereal, get the toast, get the butter, get everything you want, because Show and Tim is going to be here like no other. Also, yes, a massive re removal and a massive... Uh, um, restart for SmackDown coming up. We're going to get right into that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Finn Balor is approaching contract expiring with no renewal yet. Yes, you heard that right. There is no renewal for Finn Balor just yet, according to those who know. Finn Balor's WWE contract is up very soon. The word I've gotten is that he hasn't even been approached to renew it just yet. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Same thing with Drew McIntyre, guys. But that's not the star we're talking about because we all know Finn Balor is not a pa part of SmackDown. He is indeed a part of the red brand Monday Night Raw. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, what did you think about the CM Punk and Cody Rhodes duel, their, their verbal debate on Monday Night Raw? Things escalated very quickly between these two superstars going in to the Royal Rumble. Also, ladies and gentlemen, The Rock takes on a new role as member of TKO's Board of the... Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. So this is uh, completely different from what we started. The Rock takes on a new role as a member of TKO's Board of Directors, guys. Wow, that is huge. That is major. Johnson is motivated to contribute to the global expansion of TKO, WWE, and UFC businesses while representing athletes and performers who work hard to manage their dreams and make them come true. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, that is major and that is huge. And I, now I, I thought they said he said he was bored of it. No, he's on the board. He's not bored of. He's actually on the board. So see, we make the corrections, the latest updates here on Show and View. So the Rock joins WWE with TKO. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, two massive championship title matches are being set for the one-two WWE Raw, the one twenty-nine WWE Raw next week. That is huge. That is major, and that is cosmos. Also, Seth Rollins reveals his intent to go into WrestleMania as the World Heavyweight Champion, despite being injured. Again, go check out my Raw review on my channel. I put a lot of hard work into it. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes was caught using CM Punk's The Fire Still Burns, this Fire Still Burns WWE theme song ahead of last night's Monday Night Raw. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes addresses The Rock potentially blocking his path. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. Cody Rhodes addressing online The Rock blocking his path to WrestleMania and finishing the story. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, we got breaking news as it concerns a major removal from the SmackDown brand, from the blue brand, that being Kevin Patrick. Yes, Kevin Patrick has been removed from the SmackDown team. Kevin Patrick no longer on the WWE SmackDown commentators team. Do you like him? Are you for him? Are you against him? Yeah, I never really liked him. His voice it just doesn't go well. It just doesn't work. Just like the report is saying, it just didn't work out between Kevin Patrick and the WWE. Kevin Patrick is gone, according to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. It was reported that the SmackDown commentary team will be undergoing a change as Kevin Patrick will be removed. And uh, there's a lot of rumors and speculation about who's going to be his replacement. Maybe Jim Ross. Maybe Paul Heyman. 
maybe someone different. Maybe Michael Cole will go back in that place. But as of now, right now, major shakeup on SmackDown. Yes, you heard that right, guys. A major shakeup on SmackDown. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. More to come from the Brash of the Bridge. We'll keep you in the know on the latest, the hottest, the greatest news. If it weren't for you, there would be no show. If you stay tuned for plenty more where this came from. Later. <laughs>